right up. Sorry, my dear. I'm afraid I overslept this morning. The lodge lasted till all hours. Reading of the treasurer's report. It's very interesting, though. Well, it may be interesting to you, but I don't want to hear about it. Well, you'll feel more like talking when you've had your coffee. I wonder how people face life every morning before coffee was invented. Silently. <laughs> That's pretty good. Silently. <laughs> I must remember that one. Uh, how was your evening? I hope you didn't get too lonesome, my dear. No, oh, I managed. You know I don't like to go away and leave you alone like that, but it's only once a week, and the lodge is important. Why don't you join another one, then? Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't want to do that. Well, belonging to a lodge is every man's civic duty, but joining two would be selfishness. I'm not the type of man who'd neglect his wife and his home. Well, what's for breakfast? I don't know. Why don't you see what's down there? Couldn't you fix something for yourself this morning? Uh, you wouldn't want me to go to the office with indigestion. Making coffee is the extent of my skill. But I don't feel well, no. I, I really should sleep in. But you said you were going to get up early this morning, remember? There's a new movie with that actress, that, uh, uh, oh, what's her name? You know, all the, uh, one you look like. You think you're so smart. I'll bet you keep the lodge in stitches. Martha Mason, of course. I don't know why I have so much trouble remembering her name. Oh, uh, sir, I just don't see any resemblance. Oh, get out of here. All right, my dear, if you call me when breakfast is ready, I'll be down puttering around in my garden. You look where you're going. I will if you're going to drive that way. Uh, well, how was the movie? Oh, it was all right. And your favorite actress? Oh, well, she's always wonderful. There was one part oh, I wanted to scream. The police came to give her the bad news, and she just stands there for the longest time without saying anything, and then uh, she faints. Cut. What? Cut. Isn't that what they say in the film studios when they finish a scene? Oh, well, if you're going to be so smart. I'll have you know that when I was coming out of the movie, everybody was turning to stare at me. Why? You look all right to me. Oh. Oh. You mean they thought you were Martha Mason? What's that? This is fertilizer for the garden. Oh. It's a new kind. They say it'll make anything grow in any type of soil. Why do you waste your time in that silly old garden? Well, I'm not wasting my time. This is a new system. You see, you dig down several feet, uh. then you put this underneath the plants. Oh, you've never been able to make anything grow out there yet, and you never will. Now, this is guaranteed. And I'm making some frames, too. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, I can't stand the smell of that stuff. <laughs> Henry! 
Will you please start out pounding? It's not good for my nerves. All finished. Come on out and see it. I don't want to see it. Come on out and take a look. I really got something this time. It'll only take a moment. Please come out. Oh, shut up and leave me alone. Mabel, did you hear me? Yes, I heard you. I don't want to see your silly old garden. I got something special to show you. Mabel! <sighs> All right, I'm here. Well, what do you think of it? Well, all I can see is a hole in the ground. I built these frames. Now I can cover the plants with glass in the cold weather. Well, what plants? Nothing's going to grow here. You just don't take much interest in anything I do. But you don't do anything interesting. Henry, I suppose it just never occurs to you that being married to you is pretty dull. Too late now to do much about it. Huh? We could get a divorce. No. No, Mabel, I don't approve of divorce. And you know you don't mean it. You've got a nice house, a new car, all the clothes you need. And you're much better off than you realize. I could sue for divorce and there isn't anything you could do about it. And what would you live on? You wouldn't get any alimony, I'm afraid. You have no grounds. And my friend Judge Dubbins doesn't approve of divorce any more than I do. Well, maybe I could change his mind. To all I know, a few tricks for the witness stand. Oh, now I get it. That movie today. Martha Mason must have been on the witness stand. Well, my dear, life isn't like the movies, and I'm afraid you don't look any more like Martha Mason than I do. I killed him, and now I'm free. 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 